Marie and I hit the road for a three-night tour. First stop, Wales, to stay with her friend Roz. The drive was about two and a half hours through the English countryside, and Marie, of course, was behind the wheel. About halfway, we stopped for tea and cake at a tea shop and plant nursery. You know you're in Wales by all the double consonants and the picturesque green hillsides. I think once we get here, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Doors open. Yeah. It's probably is. her. <laughs> Roz was watching for our arrival. She ducked out of the converted chapel's vestibule into the cold wind to greet us. While she and Marie set the table for lunch, I took a look around her and her husband's weekend getaway. Only there on occasion, they can't keep a food garden. But they do have a natural pond, which was low from lack of rain. They've been working on it in their spare time for a decade. It's not easy to get skilled workers out there, Ross told us. In fact, she'd been waiting weeks for an electrician. Just down the road is the Black Mountains Gliding Club. A sheep farm surrounds them.
Hei An Wai is situated at the northern tip of the Brecon Beacons National Park and the River Wai. Its internationally known Hei Festival of Literature and the Arts was taking place the night we were there. Over a rustic lunch of cheese, salad, hummus, and Welsh chutney, we pondered the festival schedule and decided we couldn't miss it, or the charming town of Hay itself. After a cup of tea, we headed to Hay, this time with the experienced Roz behind the wheel. And that was the last time I went. <laughs> It's, it's an expensive hobby where you're actually you stand around waiting half the day most of the time if you want to go up. There was a large flea market in the village and Roz bought a hat and sweater. I couldn't burden myself with souvenirs on this extended trip, so my only purchase was an old medicine bottle for which I paid one pound. By this time, we were cold and hungry, and Roz led us to the granary, and I had the special, rabbit soup, which was delicious, and the only dessert I can't resist, bread pudding with vanilla sauce. Walking from town to the festival took us down streets with very old architecture, lots of flowers, and some were selling homemade goods to passers-by. A coughing fit after a wonderful film screening sent me rushing to a water fountain where I learned about Welsh water. We headed back out of town to Ross's cottage after a very long day as the sun was sinking in the sky. Yeah. 